Good night, John Boy. If those words mean nothing to you, well, you're probably under 50 and never watched the show called The Waltons, which ran in the 70s and 80s. The lead character of this beloved TV series was the eldest son, John Boy, who dreams of being a writer in New York City, but is disheartened for he lives in the mountains of Virginia with his family during the Great Depression. What's so memorable about the show is how each episode ended with an exterior shot of the house in the darkness of the evening with the voices of the family members saying good night to each other by name. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Mama. Good night, Ben. Good night, son. Good night, Jim Bob. What an impact a simple phrase like good night could make. It was a powerful way of telling the viewers that whatever that day, whatever happened that day, whatever conflicts or trials uh, there were, every night they were still a loving family. And that love of family is a reflection of the beautiful love that unites the holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, whose feast we celebrate today a family who was not immune to crisis and trials. The whole Holy Family was the first domestic church. Jesus was a dutiful son who honored his earthly parents, Mary and Joseph, yet he was also obedient, he, an obedient son of God, honoring his heavenly father and following his will. Mary and Joseph, meanwhile, took on their responsibility as Jesus' earthly parents, raising, nurturing, and teaching the young Jesus. They also gave themselves over to God's plan for salvation and what it required of their son. They protected their son while honoring him as he grew and began his public ministry. In many ways, our family home is the domestic church. It is in the home that we first learn to love God and to love other people. And the community should see the love of Christ in the way husbands and wives sacrifice for one another and give themselves totally to the other. And in this way, the whole church is inspired by the witness of a truly loving marriage. And if there is trouble in paradise and your family life is weakened, well, know that the church is also weakened. So then what is the solution to family survival? Well, our readings today provide some answers. Mutual respect and care, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. And over all these, put on love, and that is the bond of perfection. Isn't it interesting that the virtues needed in the church at large are identical with those that keep a family together and thriving? May we continue to look to the love and faithfulness of Joseph and Mary and be inspired to bring healing to our own marriages and families. And next time you say good night to someone you love in your family, or not necessarily in your family, it could be an extended family member or maybe a friend staying over at your house. When you say good night to them, remember that it's more than words. It's really the power of love. Thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Mass today. It's a blessing that you are with us. Every broadcast of this liturgy goes out to hundreds of people and hundreds of people all over the world. It's been an enormous blessing. If you'd like to support this virtual ministry of OLPH, please go to our website. You can support this ministry by going to Give Central so that we can continue to broadcast the liturgy each and every week. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us today. God bless you.
Greetings from OLPH.